a long journey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Mary counted the miles and the donkey's footsteps and the number of times the little baby kicked inside her belly. It was a long trip and a hot trip and she prayed that it would soon be over. One, two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight and nine. Mary knew, because she counted, that there were still many miles to go. When they arrived at last at Bethlehem, Mary and Joseph looked for a place to stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. They knocked on door after door, but at every door the answer was the same. We have no room here. Go away. Mary began to cry. It's the baby, she wept. The baby is coming and I need somewhere to rest. So Joseph looked up and down the street once more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. And there, a house number ten. He found a door that he had missed. The door opened. The innkeeper smiled. But when Joseph asked if he had an empty room, the innkeeper sadly shook his head. Bethlehem is bursting, he said with a sigh. We have no room at all. But, but my wife, Joseph, Joseph pleaded, my wife is about to have a baby. I can see that, said the innkeeper. But I'm very sorry, there's nothing I can do. And he started to close the door. Please, Joseph said. Please, Mary wept. And that's when the door started opening again. Well, there is a place, nodded the innkeeper, back behind the inn. It's nothing fancy, mind you, but, but, but it's warm and clean and dry, and you can have your baby there. So he led them to the stable. It was an ordinary stable, nothing special, filled with ordinary stable sounds. The deep moo of a big black cow, the noisy hee-haw of a little donkey, the coo of a dove, the baa of a sheep, and the scritchety scrack of a spider scuttling along the wall. But then there came another sound, an out of the ordinary sound, a sound that had never been heard in that stable before. The sharp <coughs> of a newborn baby. It was Mary's baby, of course. The baby the angel Gabriel had promised her. But there was nothing ordinary about him. For he was Jesus, God's own special son. The cow went, Ooh. The donkey brayed, the dove called, coo, the lamb cried, ba, and the spider skittered, scritchy scratch, as it went back to its web. It was just an ordinary stable, with ordinary sounds inside, and one extraordinary baby boy.